I'm born and raised in Jerusalem. I lived here practically all my life. I never really bought into the concept that in order to be a musician, you have to live in Tel Aviv. Or in order to be part of the industry, you have to live in Tel Aviv. You feel life more in Jerusalem. There's more real people. My name. This guy's my barber and shaver. <laughs> He complimented me for shaving on my own today. <laughs> in a way, I feel that in the past, not very many, maybe two years, I have a lot more partners who suddenly see the everyday beauty of this city. This city was always a city, but it was always a city that behaved like a village. Everybody knew everyone because it's three cities. It's the Arab city, the ultra-Orthodox city, and the secular and uh, religious, but not Orthodox city. And everyone and every third knew everyone. And now I think perhaps it understands that it's a city. I think that's what's happening. So this is one of the centers of our segregated, strange city. It's the market, the Jewish market. I think it's the biggest market in Israel. You can get anything here from figs to prostitutes. I moved here in 1995. I had an enormous apartment and I paid, I guess, $80 a month. And the guy was like, if you pay me on time, I'll make it 60. <laughs> so I paid him on time usually. <laughs> now it's different. Now it's, I think it's quite a trendy neighborhood. In all this, what we now look at, at least me, I'm looking at it and saying it's beautiful. Five, seven years ago, people would look at it and say, it's creepy, it's dirty, it's scary, they're gamblers, they drink arak. Now people look at it and they say, it's real, it's authentic. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I, write, I wrote a few songs about the neighborhood. And now you see Israeli tourists uh, with tour guides talking about those songs. אני באמצע, אני באמצע. כן, אני באמצע. People understood that this is a nice place. People understood that it, this place holds uh, the beauty this, this city and this country used to hold. And you want to keep some of that beauty before everything is, uh, everything is gone. There's a new dynamic, there's a new, there's a new feel in Jerusalem streets now. I'm telling people also, you know, Everybody knows that I'm into Jerusalem and Jerusalem Ed, but I'm telling people, I find myself saying this almost every week to somebody, I lived here through the shitty times. I didn't want to leave. Now it's actually a good time. I think, arguably, it's a better place to live than Tel Aviv. I can tell you that for the first time in, at least in 15 years, I don't know all the musicians here. I don't know all the painters. I used to know everyone, and now, Every week almost I hear of a new band. It's different. It's very different and you know what? I'm, I'm actually... Uh, I'm emotional as I say it now, you know? Because it's... I didn't really even believe I'd see the day, you know? So it's happening. It's happening, right now it's happening. <laughs>